out at the lake with the animal too. Uh, I'm not recording any speeds or anything like that. I'm uh, working on battery position, strut position, and using different props. Right now, she's got the gold props, gold high rake props on her. And I'm finding that uh, moving the batteries forward help a lot. Uh, as far as reducing the porpoising, I left the struts in their stock position. Uh, but I'm finding this boat likes battery forward on this particular prop. Nice long wide open run. One thing I did notice um, with the batteries in a regular position and with the struts in a stock position on a 4519 prop, she will flip and on the blue high rake, I believe it's 45.7. Um, High rate prop, she likes to flip as well. Um, but it looks like this one's dialed in pretty good. Struts are in the stock position. Batteries a little, batteries are actually much more forward. Um, and she's running nice and flat, maybe a little wet. I can't really tell. That's why I'm trying to get some close passes. See if you guys can say if she's running a little wet or not. Uh, she does a consistent 76 on this prop. Uh, with some 6200 milliamp CNHL 90C batteries. Uh, I'll be testing and tuning some more with the 4519 props. Um, yeah, I found that like 80 miles an hour with the batteries and the strut in the stock position, she likes to flip. Um, but this set up as is you can just gun it and not worry about flipping she stays playing it yeah but when you prop up on this joker you gotta strut down and battery forward even more but I would not run this boat at all with the batteries in the stock position and the struts in the stock position. Because she will take off on you. The acceleration is unbelievable. Even on gold high rake props. Uh, she likes a light little chop. There's a light wind, small waves. I think that's where catamarans really shine.
she turns well. I've heard people say, you know, the animal crew doesn't turn that well. I'm not really having an issue that much with turning. Definitely likes putting it down on the high speed, long passes. Water flow is good, of course. I found that the straight water intakes and water outlets on the motor uh, give a better flow than a 90 degree angle one. Uh, but yeah, this is your setup for the for that gold prop. Uh, you can leave the struts in a stock position and move the batteries forward a few inches, um, kind of to where the battery is even. The top of the battery, end of the battery is even with the deck. You know, you want the battery tucked in under the deck. Um, I packed it in with pool noodles. I'm thinking about perhaps getting the uh, sliding battery trays to put in to be able to move the battery forward. Yeah, right now nothing is nothing's really securing the batteries. It's packed in pool noodles and foam wedges. So, but she's running great. All right, so let's bring her in and do some temp checks. I don't even think I have my temp gun on me, but uh. But yeah. I think I got her dialed in on this gold prop. But uh you know she'll go faster with lighter batteries. Bill suggested 52. No, 5,000 going at batteries. I had to use what I had on hand, which was 6200 So it's a little heavier. But she does a consistent 76 on this prop. And she's running decent, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna bring her in and let her cool off. GoPro stop recording. 